Hi, welcome to the bonus material for sniffing, reverse engineering, and coding of the ESP32 Bluetooth Low Energy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to open up the case of the Lumen Plus lamp, and we are going to convert it from using batteries to using a wall wart, and we're going to embed the ESP32 dev board into the same container. That way, you've got a isolated solution, plug it into the wall, don't have to worry about batteries, and using the information you learned from the previous videos, you can modify it to light up when you get an email, or interface it with if this then that, whatever it is you decide to do. So we're going to come over to the bench, and I'm going to show you how to modify it. Okay, so to add the ESP32 into the same case, we need to do a couple different things. This is the version I made. Right. So we can see that um, when you get yours, there's going to be some glue in here. And the best way that I've found to get this off is to kind of turn it a little bit while it's in the case, kind of cracking that glue. And then if you need to, you can slip something in there and kind of pop it out. Um, so what I've done is I have installed a connector on the back. I had a 5-volt, uh, 1-amp uh, wall wart. And I, so I basically drilled a hole, installed it. You can actually send 5 volts to the ESP32 on the dev board, on the VN and the ground connectors. So I took out the batteries, obviously. I put the socket in. I ran uh, 5 volts to the VN and the 5 volts to the lamp circuit. And then I ran ground to the ground and the ground to the uh, lamp circuit. And then I glued the ESP32 in here. I had to, besides drilling the hole, I had to cut out a section so that um, the cover would go back on it. But that was really all there was to it. So if you take the ESP32, and let's say you have it go and check your email, for example, now you can basically plug this into the wall and not have to worry about those batteries. The uh, ESP32 will continue to run. It'll talk to the, through Bluetooth to the other device, and you'll get your color changes. So if we hook this back up, and I plug this in, you should see it work. <coughs> Let me turn off this light. Turn it on. I've got to turn on the uh, power here. Okay. There we go. So we can get it cycling. So it's running that randomized uh, color RGB color code that we wrote that's available for download. But you can do a lot more things with this, make it a lot smarter. Um, I'll point out one other thing, why we can use the 5 volts on the dev board. Most people know this, but just in case you don't, there's actually a voltage regulator on here. So you can put 5 volts, I think probably even up to 10 volts, but you'd want to check that regulator spec. So anyway, that's all there is to it. So basically you end up with a cool lamp, talking Bluetooth, that doesn't require batteries anymore. All right, well that's it for this bonus material. If you like what I'm doing, let me know down below. Or if you feel like subscribing, great. And if you don't, that's okay too. All right, thank you.